Hey, it's a bright sunny morning. We're out. Yay. Hey. We're gonna try to run on some trails today. We'll see how far we get. Yeah. But it's gonna be a warm one. Yeah. Yeah. Stick with us. We're out of cooling rags. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, good thing. <laughs> Yeah, so not to complain, but it's pretty hot. We're having to stop every now and then. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, we thought ahead, we hydrated, we even brought our cooling rags. Thanks to you, thank you. Awesome idea. We woke up early and then we ran into some friends on our walk with Millie and wasted 15 to 20 minutes. I don't not know wasted, about wasted. But burned it was good. 15 to 20 minutes of cool weather. The thing is, apparently we'll wake up at two in the morning to run a marathon. But we can't get up before six to run a 5k here. It's all part of the training, right? Well, not a very long run today. Well, we hit two miles. Yeah. Considering the heat and humidity. It's pretty hot. I'm happy with that. And we still have like two tents to go. Yeah. We home, so. We'll have a we'll have a recap in a bit. Once we dry off. Yeah. Or not. For uh, you, we'll for see. you. For you it'll be instantaneous for us. Yeah. 
We'll see. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining, watching, commenting. See you in a little bit. <laughs> hey, hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for watching our run today. Oh boy. Y'all, it's hot. It's hot. It was. It's it was so really hot. hot. And then we got home and we cleaned ourselves up and we went to hang out with my family and hung out on the porch for hours. Yeah, hundred degrees. Hot. Hundred degrees. We're pretty hot. They had misters. That was nice. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. It's pretty fluffy. So, so here's the deal. Before we begin, let, let's get this out of the way. If you haven't already, subscribe. If you like, <laughs> hit the like, hit the notification button. Ding, ding. You'll find out when we upload videos. We're trying to do it once a week. We've been doing pretty well, yeah, we have. by the way, yeah. for almost a year yeah, now. We have. And here's the deal. We are so Ooh. much closer to official training time mm -hmm. for the 2023 marathon. Hope all of you are making plans, whatever you're getting ready to run. We are just beginning summer. So we went out today. If you watch the footage, uh, maybe the video doesn't do it justice. The sun was so it's pretty glaring. hot. Yeah, it was yikes. So we thought today we would share with you the things that we learned and now the tools that we use when we're running in the heat. Because I'll tell you what, Florida for uh, a number of our races there yeah. has been pretty darn hot. Our first marathon was a scorcher. Remember, they cut the race short. Mm -hmm. It was so hot, and thankfully we made it through. Others didn't, yep. but it was out of pure safety concerns. So, get ready for some in-your-face honesty. We're going <laughs> to share some things that, uh, that we do to help us with the heat. And then we're going to end with uh, why we're so into Tron. Oh. It'll, it'll be short. I didn't realize we I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. Is that not why? Who isn't, right? Yeah. Uh, all of it. I, I like the original one. Original movie. Yeah. The sequel and the animated series. Uh, there's some nerd cred for you right there. And I'm going to follow up with even more. That'll be short, but I think you'll find it fun. So here we go. What are some of the things we learned after our first really hot marathon? Well, yeah, that was after the first marathon. So I was thinking today, you know, we're running around and it is... It's, it's just so hot. It really is. It's so hot. And it was so sunny. We used to run without anything mm -hmm. covering anything up here. Yep. So, you know, I'd put my contacts in and mm -hmm. we'd run. You were just running in glasses. Like, we didn't have any uh, hats or we didn't have any sunglasses. And the thing is, I always thought a hat would make me hot. But I'm not really a visor person. So I was like, I don't think I can, like, I don't know what the option is here. And then finally I realized that, let me put my current cooling device down there Here. um <clears throat> that's uh just like all of our other gear hats are made with like cooling you know mm -hmm. fabrics so they're, they're like well vented and ventilated um and there's something just like so freeing about having the sun not in your eyes so running with a hat has been awesome yeah this is the one we normally run in. I have a white one yeah. and then you use a gray one. Yeah. But this was the hat I bought for the Sally outfit because, you know, like red hair, right? So for the last marathon, I got this one and it's like, I don't know if you can like see, but you can kind of see oh, through yeah. it. Like this one's super ventilated. Yeah. I like this one more. I think we might get yeah. more of these. Yeah. Um, and, but you they're know, both great. They really are. It's and just, and they help with the glare, right? Uh, because of the bill. The other thing that really came in handy was... They hand out sponges sometimes oh, yeah. at the races, you know, and they're soaked and they feel so mm -hmm. good. So put it on top of your head, yeah. put your cap on, and you have, uh, yeah. you know, a nice sponge to help you out. And then you can get it, you know, re, uh, um, rehydrated at the next water stop. So anyway, if you don't run with a hat, consider Highly it. Highly recommend it. And also to, like, dispel some rumors, because I always heard this and until I did some further research on materials... You know, they always say, oh, don't get your baseball cap wet and put it on. You're going to cook your brain or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, because that's like canvas. Right. Like it'll lock in all the heat. These feel great if yeah. you just like, and even just at the park, we stop by a water fountain and I like oh, yeah. douse it off and yeah. throw it back on. It feels really nice. Yeah. So that's that, item number one. That was hat. one addition. Yeah. A hat. And now we even wear those on our like walks with Millie because yeah. 
it's summertime yeah. and it's miserable. Yeah. And that makes it a little bit better. Next up, we didn't used to run covering our eyes. Right. <laughs> oh, I can't wear... Uh, Excuse me? I can't wear contacts anymore. So uh, these are prescription lenses. And uh, the last time I had a, a checkup, I decided, you know what? I need sunglasses. And oh man, that made such a big difference because going out in this kind of bright sun, these guys change. It 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 was amazing. You can wear contacts. I can wear contacts, and sometimes I would run in like my normal sunglasses. I should have brought those to show too. But they're just like these little like horn rim, like whatever. They're cute, yeah, they and they cute. stayed on my face when I was running and all that. But I realized that. They had this like awful glare situation. So if the sun was anywhere other than like directly in front of me, it would like catch the lens and just like flare all the way across. It was awful. So I looked into getting some better athletic or active type sunglasses. And the ones that kept popping up were these Gooder sunglasses. Oh, and I- So you got Gooder instead I, of better. I got Gooder instead of better. <laughs> so, the thing with these is, you've probably seen these on a million people at every single race you've ever been to, and the rebel in me was like, I kind of don't want them because of that. But they're super cheap, so I was like, okay, I'll give them a try. Um, and they work exceptionally well. They're lightweight, and so far they have never, like right now I keep pushing my own glasses back on my face because I'm sweating yeah. <laughs> and they're running down my face. Yeah. These have never budged on my face out on a run. And the, you know, they, they don't have any glare issues. And I even, I have like a, an oddly skinny face for making a lot of sunglasses fit me. I've gotten some like bug eye sunglasses before. Okay. Um, these work okay. And they also have like a... I think you look great with any glasses. Oh, stop it. Except for those ones I just donated. Remember those were ridiculous. No, you look great in them. No, I didn't. You make everything great. Anyway. Oh boy, this guy. <laughs> uh, they also have on their website though, you can, um, what's it, VR? virtual reality uh -huh. thing. So you can like, you know, do a little selfie mode and it'll put the sunglasses on your face oh, and you can neat. see like approximate if it fit your face or not. And uh, so that was nice. Hey, you know what? We'll put a, we'll put a link in the uh, description for a good or... I really like these. Yeah, these are good. Pretty nice. Yeah. So that has helped a lot. I can't go running without these now. And then uh, before our first marathon, uh, I thought, hey, what would be a kind of a fun uh, Christmas gift? I got us. That year, by the way, we gave each other lots of like running yeah, gifts. Yeah, running, running gifts, right? <laughs> yeah, it was going to be our first marathon, right? I got us some of these cooling rags. I ordered them off of, uh, off of Amazon. And boy, they were perfect yeah. for that first marathon. As a matter of fact, in this picture, one of our favorites, oh, yeah. uh, we're holding our cooling rags. They were so, uh, it was so it was, hot. It's such a light. They feel yeah, so they good. Feel and great. like my hands um, have a tendency to really kind of puff up when we're too, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're too like hot and sweaty. Mm -hmm. And these just feel like really nice on my, yeah. my hot swollen hands. Yeah. Um, and yes. then same thing, you can go to the water fountain and douse these off. Mm -hmm. We just today just dumped these like under the faucet before mm -hmm. we left and just held onto them. Um, and they were really nice. On races, you can have water stop people like just dump some water yeah, on them. and they will, yeah. And oh, it's very nice. Yeah. It's and then uh, nice. you, you may be familiar with, if, if you've been following our journey, with our uh, attempts at proper hydration, yeah. you know, and we, we realized we needed electrolytes. And so we tried several brands. Uh, the one that really, really worked for us and the one that we like is- We like Propel. Propel. Good flavors, it dissolves super easily. Yeah. Like we bought some stuff, I don't remember what it is, but there's some stuff that I didn't even like the taste of it. You've yeah. been kind of chipping away at it for yeah. a long time. Yeah. It just doesn't dissolve, but these are like, don't even have to use a spoon, just like the yeah. agitation of pouring water on yeah. top of them. So the last like marathon totally. um, uh, that, that was this year, uh, they were really nice. You know, we carry them in our, uh, in, in our uh, packs and uh, when we got to a water stop, we just oh. tear it open, pop it in, Gosh. and just immediate, uh, mm -hmm. uh, immediately they dissolve. Yeah. And the flavors are really, really good. They're really good. They also are great on vacations if, say, you're going to be, like, drinking a lot. The next <laughs> morning, these are, like, good as new. Oh, yeah. They'll get you good as new. Uh, oh, yeah. We, we really, We've really, experimented with that. Really like those. Yeah. So, uh, and, and it, um... <clears throat> You know, for us too, it, we're we're trying, and it's hard, but 
you know, to kind of minimize packaging. Yeah, and, uh, we just, we couldn't, I mean, these are, these are small, but yeah. we do have to throw something away every time we use them, which we don't particularly like. Yeah. But. but the Propel really worked for yeah. us. Uh, oh, and I don't throw up. That's right. One of the other uh, yeah. uh, electrolyte replacements that we tried, I projectile vomited. Yeah. Anytime I ran more than, say, seven miles drinking them. Yeah. And also, it mm -hmm. turns out that that other one that we got, there was some sort of like carbonation in it. When, so, uh, you know, when running... Your bottles agitated yeah, and, and the, spewed all over your legs. Yeah, so everybody was spewing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, so yeah. that's another thing, you know. Remember, it's not just water. You, know, you need the electrolytes. Um, we're still working on our fuel. But that has yeah. nothing to do with heat. Well, yeah, we'll see we'll how, get to that we'll see how this later. training goes. We have it figured out, just not with travel. Yeah. Like, it didn't work trying to take our stuff to Florida. Yeah. So what we'll we'll you know, get to it. We'll figure, yeah. We need to think about that this time specifically with what we can easily yeah. have on the race yeah. in another state. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll let you know how that uh, comes yeah. out, and uh, you know maybe if you have some tips on fueling. You know we have a uh, um, a vacuum sealer, and you know that that was really great for us, but uh, something happened the last uh, marathon. We'll, we'll figure it yeah. out. And then lastly. Uh, <laughs> This one occurred to us while we were training for the first marathon, actually. I was... <laughs> so, so it gets pretty hot, right? And, and when you're running, you mm -hmm. sweat a lot. Yeah. Even if it's not hot, you sweat a lot. Mm -hmm. you, you take mm -hmm. bathroom breaks. Uh, so here's the deal. I'll go first because why not? I invested in... Running draws. Running underwear. <laughs> huh? Right. Moisture wicking. It hit me at yeah. some point. I was like, you know, I'm tired of uh, pulling these hockey cotton underwear back on. Yeah. Do they make moisture wicking underwear? And the answer is yes, they do. And these are the grannies of granny panties. This is going to take up the whole screen, but they're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> they are so comfortable. Uh, so comfortable. I mean, Reebok maybe you things. already knew this, but yeah, I don't moisture know. Nobody wicking. ever, nobody ever talks yeah, about it. Nobody talks about it. You know, well, we have moisture kind of wicking everything else, yeah. every head to toe, yeah. literally to toe, moisture wicking everything else, yeah. except for our underwear. Yeah. So problem solved. Makes a big difference. Yes, big right? fan. Uh, there's nothing like pulling down a, a soggy pair of underwear when you need to use the bathroom. <laughs> moisture wicking underwear, go for it. <laughs> and I'll put a link to the uh, ones that I ordered. Hey, if you're interested, it it really it really. If they still have them, that's a couple years ago. I think, have, I think I'm due for this. They better have them. I need some more. <laughs> I need some more. Um, you know, and you've noticed I wear rash guards. Now, rash guards uh, you can buy that have uh, um, SPF uh, ratings. Uh, rash guards are great for me uh, because instead of coating my entire body with sunblock, uh, you know, I can wear a rash guard and then I can spot uh, sunblock. Uh, please, please. Uh, be cautious out in the sun. Uh, I have way too many scars from having to remove uh, uh, suspicious moles. Uh, so wear sunblock when you're out in the sun. We're just starting a uh, summer and as runners, we're gonna be out there. So sunblock. And that's the other thing caps do, right? Caps have uh, mm -hmm. SPF ratings. You know, they're breathable, they're, they're vented, but they do provide some uh, sunblock. So uh, we use, um, sunblock and i wear a uh, rash guard yeah and i guess we can show that I, it's blue i'll try to look up the bottle of, yeah actually i'll throw in a picture right here yeah, we'll, of the sunblock right. we have i love yeah. it it's great it like doesn't like it's great it, it handles sweat well yeah yeah so that is our heat tip running update <sighs> And it's getting hot in here. You know, we have a fan in here, but we don't turn it on because it messes with the uh, it audio. It makes a lot of noise. So, so uh, we're melting. Yeah. Uh, right. Let, right let, me, uh, let me take a little hydration. Give me a second. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to all of you. One last thing. Uh, can anybody guess what this is? Let us know in the comments. So finally, you know that we're working on our Tron-inspired... Uh, uh, running calendar. For, we're going to do that next week. We're going to do that next yep. week. Yep, so we'll have that next uh, week. And we're also going to run in some Tron-inspired uh, running outfits. Uh, and also we're going to have a, uh, a Tron-inspired uh, post-run outfit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have a Tron-inspired park outfit. Uh, I'm excited about it. <laughs> but here's the deal. Uh, Tron's great. Uh, and 
uh, let us know what you think about Tron in, in the uh, uh, comments. I'm a, a, I'm a nerd. So many, 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 many years ago, I bought a model. And this model I have been working on. Since longer than we've known each other. Here it is. <laughs> Uh, I've done a lot of work to it, actually. Uh, this is a very, very precise, apparently uh, taken from the actual movie uh, information. It is a Tron light cycle from the original Tron movie. I have been working on it. I'm still putting it together. You can see the uh, model and it's still in pieces. Got a, a few more pieces to uh, put together. Anyway, I uh, had uh, grand plans for uh, my Tron model. Uh, and if you have any ideas, let me know because I have been working on it for a long time. Anyway, really cool. So this is part of, uh, I guess, us getting ready for our marathon because we are so excited about the Tron roller coaster. That they've been building the last few maybe years. Maybe be open. Maybe. Maybe be open by the time we go oh, in January. Wow, we are we are in sight. And the, the progress that we've been following, it looks like they're getting really, mm. really close. So maybe we'll even get to ride Tron uh, after the marathon in 2023. Here's hoping. Yep. So anyway, I thought I'd share that uh, Tron update with you. Thank you so much for your comments. Thanks for watching. We love hearing from you. And uh Keep working, keep pushing. Uh, it's gonna get hot for a lot of us. Be mindful of the heat. Maybe our tips will help you. And if you have any tips for us, let us know. Cause uh, you know, we can really use them. Yeah. I am, I am just- It's really nervous. hot in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna let you go. We'll see you next week. And then we'll tell you more next week about our upcoming trip. Yes, so next week, we're gonna cover our training plan because we're gonna finally do that because then right. we go on vacation for a week. And then that week we'll show you some stuff from our vacation like right. runs that we're doing there. But then the next week we start marathon training. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's really close. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's just like always an adventure <laughs> with you. Thanks for watching.